Okay. Here's three more illegal signs, and he's also putting them back here. So, you know, there are more signs here than I can collect easily. I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to deface these for right now. I'll come back and get them. Just for fun, because my bike has uh, got a full load of signs. I'm just going to, let's see. I need to get a big magic marker, but I'm just going to mark it for deletion. Mark Sarnoff for deletion on November 6th. Mark Sarnoff for deletion. Gee, that's a really weak marker. Mark Sarnoff, you really are not a good man at all. You killer. Well, a, a curious neighbor, and probably a Sarnoff supporter, paused and wondered why I was doing this, and I explained to him. He was polite. I said to check the law, check the cops, and see my videos on YouTube. It looks like I'm going to have a full load of signs here. I went ahead and took them all down. Kate's signs are knocked down by somebody. I'm not going to put them back up because I'd just be hypocritical if I did. Somebody else can do that. Hi, good morning. Why, why not? YouTube, okay? YouTube. You notice the cop drove by. They're watching me so carefully, and they know I haven't done anything illegal. They would have loved to have uh, accosted me, but I got my little blue camera out. So this will go into the video. The park is open. Just the workers are here, so I don't think this is a sin to walk into the park and take some pictures. I'm just going to go in this far. So this is all newly relayed brick. And the reason I've criticized this, as pretty as it is, it really is just going to make a beautiful view for Mark. It doesn't make a better dog park. Dogs like to come here and run and rump and tussle. And these shrubs are going to grow up to be a couple feet tall. There's sprinkler heads. How can you play with a dog and toss a tennis ball without the dog getting in trouble? It's, you know what, even if it works out nice for the dogs, it doesn't work out nice for the taxpayers. $140,000. Piffle. So Mark, I'll figure out something good to do with these signs. Um, I'll be talking to about what it is to be disenfranchised of your rights. Once you've been marked by cops for deletion, you'll have no rights. You'll be discredited. That's what all of these Baker Acts they did to me before. They make me paint it out as to be a, a mental case, and I'm not. No one will give me the time of day. No judge, no attorney, the media uh, dismisses me. <laughs> Even the bright dismisses me. It dropped my propane bottles. But propane does not cause insanity, so it's, it's a way to uh, cope with horrors. It gets you a little bit high for a while, but the effects aren't lasting. It doesn't cause brain damage. Hi, I've been doing it since 1969. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, the whole idea is to discredit a person and make him out to be a, a nutcase, and therefore don't, don't do anything he says. Don't, you can send cops out and put guns to his head, beat him up, mug him, whatever. Knock his teeth out, and nobody will give a shit, because he's just a loser. Well, I'm not a loser, Mark. Mark, you're a loser. Okay, I just returned, got home from my sign collection run, and I'll make up a, some sort of little video. Uh, Miami Police, do you understand what hypocrisy is and what total disregard of the law is about? While I collected these signs, I went over to Sarnoff's place and took pictures of the park. A cruiser slowly went by to observe me. I got him on film. He didn't bother me. That's good, because I had done nothing wrong. And yet on the 13th of September, Richard Gentry, commander of Coconut Grove Police, you stopped me and bullied me 
and you promised me trouble if I remove Sarnoff's signs from his property. Well, these are from his neighbor's property. And you, they're, they're the same as if they were on his fence. I removed them from townhouse walls and public sidewalks and easements. He keeps putting the signs up. Don't mess with me, Gentry. I'm warning you. And I want my sign collection back that your pig with the gun came and stole from the Home Depot. George Gonzalez, Officer 2448. I'll be making more video and talking about civil rights and how they can be robbed from a citizen if he makes the mistake of complaining about our mafioso police and politicians. Signing off for now.